Has your water softener stopped softening your water? Not sure what to do? I'm going to help you troubleshoot that in eight easy steps right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Take you right to my YouTube channel. There's hundreds of water treatment uh, videos on there. Lots of great information to help you with the water treatment for your family. Also, make sure you watch this video right to the end. I'm going to put a, a link to a playlist that'll take you right to all my water uh, softener videos. Lots of great information for your family. Now, to help with the troubleshooting pr process, you really need to know how a water softener works. If you're not sure, click this link up here. It'll take you right to my video on how a water softener works. A lot of great information there. Okay, now, how do you know that your water softener isn't working? Are you getting some scale buildup, uh, some uh, signs of hard water, hard on the skin, that kind of thing? Or are you just thinking that it's not working? If you're thinking that it's not working and you're not 100% sure, you really need to have the water tested for hardness. That's always the first step. If you don't have anyone locally that can test your water for you, I'll put our mailing address in the description down below. You can always mail me a water sample, we'll test it for you, find out if it's hard or not, and uh, let you know. Now whether you have a standard efficiency water softener like this Clack WS1, or you've got a high efficiency water softener like this uh, Water Boss, the, this troubleshooting procedure is exactly the same. Is your water softener using salt? In other words, is the salt level dropping? Now, it should be dropping on a consistent basis. If it stopped dropping, then you may want to check this video up here. Um, it specifically deals with um, how troubleshooting the water softener that stopped using salt. Is your water softener plugged in and the display illuminated? I mean, it's obvious. If it's not plugged in, it's not going to be softening uh, your water. Make sure your water softener is not bypassed. So pretty much every water softener on the market these days has a bypass and this is uh, how you would bypass it. So you need to make sure that it's in service because otherwise it's not going to be softening your water. Every water softener on the market these days has a meter built into it. It's a metered water softener. So to test that meter, you just run the water and something will flash on, on the screen to show you that the meter is working. When you turn the water off, that will stop flashing. On a Clack WS1 like this, the word softening will display here to show you that the meter is actually working. The next thing you can check is the regen cycle. So hold down the regen button, hold it down for five seconds or so, and the regeneration will start. You can hear this motor start up now, so it tells you it's in the regen pro process. Pretty much every water softener uh, works the same way. You hold down the regen button, and, uh, and if, it goes through the, if it starts correctly and it goes through the whole cycle correctly, that's one thing you can eliminate. But if it doesn't, that's the problem. That's why you're not getting soft water. So it's important too to monitor the salt level in the water softener. So if the salt level hasn't been dropping, you may very well have a salt clog. So I've got a great video, I'll put a link on the upper right hand corner of the screen here that uh, will show you how to get remove a salt clog from a water softener. That would keep it from softening. But the opposite is also true. You have to make sure that the salt level is correct, that you have enough salt in there for the water softener. So again, I'll put a link up here in the right hand corner that'll take you to a video that shows you uh, what the right level of salt you should have in your water softener to make sure it keeps working and softening your water. How old is your water softener? Water softeners only have a limited lifespan, just like everything else. Now it depends if you've got a big box store type water softener, the life expectancy might only be five to seven years, something like that. I've seen some of them expire after three years. If you've got a quality water softener like a Water Boss or a Clack WS1, you're looking to 15 to 20 years. Um, water Boss might even be higher, 20 to 25. But it, it, everything, like I say, has a life expectancy, especially if you're on a chlorine chlorinated water supply, that chlorinated uh, water is really hard on the media inside of the water softeners. So it may be that your water softener's just expired. If you're looking to replace your water softener, click the link up here. That'll take you right to our e-commerce store. We offer free shipping and discount pricing and uh, just order it. We'll ship it to you. You're good to go. And that's it. If you like what we saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you click this link up here, it'll take you right to our water softener playlist. There's lots of videos on there, lots of great information that'll help you with softening the water for your family and all the other water treatment uh, um, concerns that uh, you might have. More information, you go to our websites, either thewatereastore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.